Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create a power button just like the one that you've seen here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new image and just have it the width and height 400 by 400, then hit OK. And then what we want to do is select a color um, that you want the button to be. And so and then we're going to create a new layer by clicking this button here. And then we're going to use the elliptical marquee tool and whilst holding Alt and Shift, draw a perfect circle and then using the paint bucket tool fill that color that you like and then we're going to create another new layer and we're just going to switch the foreground color to be white and just using the paint brush tool with a large size brush I'm just going to click two maybe three times just to give it that bit of glare at the bottom and now what we want to do is create another layer and this time we want to use the gradient tool and the option foreground to transparent and just with the linear gradient normal opacity 100 and then we're just going to draw a line down to the bottom like so now what we want to do is use the elliptical marquee tool again draw out roughly a circle just over the top and then go select inverse and then press the delete key and then go select deselect then what we want to do is go to edit transform scale and whilst holding alt and shift just drag the corners in and then give that a tick now what we want to do next is just the opacity to say 80% and then you can adjust the opacity of the layer underneath to about 85-86% yeah, and then what we want to do is create another new layer and with this we're going to use the elliptical marquee tool again and whilst holding alt and shift draw another perfect circle and then position that in the center and then go edit stroke and depending on how big your picture is will depend on how much you want to stroke it by so I'm gonna say 8 pixels just like that and then using the rectangular tool we're just gonna draw out a s cut out a section of that to make the other part of the line so roughly in the center and then just draw another a proportional line roughly in the center and then using the paint bucket tool fill that with the white and then deselect now you drag that layer down under just above the blue layer here just so it goes underneath the glossy finish and then for a final touch you right click on that layer select blending options and then just give it a inner shadow just to give it that sense of depth and then hit OK so that's basically it I uh, hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.